All right, we're here painting the, uh, putting on third coat of Total Boat Wet Edge Blue Glow White on a 1965 All Court Sunfish Wave. Doing the roll and tip method, so pardon me for a second while I move. All right, we've got one of these Arrowworthy roller kits. We got it from Jamestown Distributors. It comes with a tray, some gloves, roller frame, a couple of rollers. So that's what we use to apply the paint, to roll it, and then we tip it with one of these little Blue Hawk sash trim brushes. We buy these from Lowe's. So we're using um, Total Boat Wet Edge. This is our Blue Glow White that's a little bit, doesn't have quite the gloss that a regular white does. Thinned it with about uh, 5%, 10%, somewhere in there. Just three full capfuls into uh, about half of a quart special brushing thinner. Mix it all up, put it in the tray. And then we got to work uh, rolling and tipping. We can do about a uh, one to two feet. You just kind of have to go by feel to see how the paint, paint's flowing. Use light roller pressure, thin coats of paint, work better than trying to just pour it on. And then just a light stroke across the top to get the, uh, get any bubbles off of it. To do some advanced work here, add a little piece of a bristle coming out. So it's it's uh, cool enough today that I can go in there and get that bristle off of there and just brush it back out real quick. There's sometimes on a hot day, it's like forget it, you just leave the bristle there and go back and get it later. Also on a warmer day, you may not be able to go on as big a section at a time. You might have to go over smaller sections and just uh, keep an eye on how your paint's flowing. You can add a little more thinner. If it's drying up on you too fast or not flowing, it's not brushing correctly. Correctly, I mean it's just not, it's just not, uh, it's not flowing out. It's not what they call self-leveling, where it's flattening out, and making a nice flat surface for you. I'm gonna change the glove real quick. This uh, kit comes with latex gloves. We try to avoid those ourselves and go with the. Uh, just a regular blue nitrile glove that we can buy, no latex, rubber free. From we picked those up at Lowe's, most big box of hardware stores have them. Let's see if we can fly you over here without making you too dizzy. So, our wet edge is, is right in here right now. And you want to keep that wet edge going because you don't want to get uh, you don't want the edge of this paint drying up because then you'll see the line when the paint dries. So a quick roller. Let's get down here. We just kind of dip the brush and tap it back up to the boat. We find where our line is right in here. In 
just go through with the light stroke. You might see some of those little bubbles. I say bubbles, it's just little ridges, and then once you brush over them, they go away, and then you leave the leave the paint alone to let it fill in and flatten out. One thing we did uh, prep-wise before we got going on this third coat, just took a piece of uh, 120 grit sandpaper and we just just went lightly over the top of it and scuffed it just a little I don't know if you can see it or not the um, that helped knock down any little bumps of fuzz or anything that got on top of it you might be able to see it on the side here when you take that sheen down that helps you see where you painted and you haven't painted. So we're going to get back and get this third coat finished on Wave.